is Toby and I'm going to tell you all about Mary Anning. Mary Anning was born in 1799 in Lyme Regis. They say she was struck by lightning when she was a baby. Mary Anning's family didn't have much money. So, her, so Mary and her brother Joseph went on Lyme Regis Beach to find fossils and they sold them to rich people. Mary Anning and her brother Joseph didn't know what fossils were really called so they gave them their own names. They called Rifeas, Devil's Toenails, they called Bellum Knights, Devil's Fingers, a bit spooky. They called Vertebrates, Vertebrates, and finally they called Ammonites, Snake Stones. One day in 1811, Mary Anning and her brother Joseph went fossil hunting, and Joseph found the head of an ichthyosaur. About a year later, Mary Anning found the rest of the ichthyosaur. A rich man bought the ichthyosaur for £23 and transported it to London. The scientists at the British Museum were excited. Mary Anning had found a new piece of the jigsaw puzzle that explained th the story of evolution. At the time, people thought that girls shouldn't become scientists and shouldn't know about fossils. Mary Anning was a successful fossil hunter and lots of famous people bought fossils from her. But Mary Anning has never had a fossil named after her. The famous scientists didn't even write her name in when they were writing about her finds in their scientific papers. In 2010, Mary Anning was named by the Royal Society in the top 10 list of British women who were important to the history of science. No new species of Ichthyosaur has been found for 130 years, but a few years ago in 2008, Dean Lomax went to the Doncaster Museum to look at ichthyosaurs and when he was looking at ichthyosaurs he saw one and one of the scientists said that it was just a plaster cast and then two amazing things happened. First he realised that it wasn't actually a plaster cast, it was a real ichthyosaur. Then he found out it was a new species of ichthyosaur. In 2015 the new type of ichthyosaur was called Ichthyosaurus anninga. So Mary Anning now has an Ichthyosaurus named after her. Mary Anning and her brother Joseph and Dean Lomax discovered the Ichthyosaur by chance. And they discovered it because they knew lots about fossils. If you want to discover things, it helps if you know your stuff. Maybe you'll find out something like this one day.